Hi you guys, uh, welcome to Elena for Crafts. So, I have a haul for you guys. Um, I picked up a couple things from um, Michael's. And of course, I picked up the paper that just came out from um, that Michael's had just um, brought in. And that's all the new Hot Buy papers. Um, I am only picked up, well, I only picked up one and then... Um, I went to Michael's again, and then I picked up the other two. So, I was just going to pick up one paper because, oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much paper. And I just love paper, you know. And um, so, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> so, when I did go back to Michael's, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and um, show you. I did um, do an Instagram story flipping the pages at Michael's. And um, so, yeah, um, if you've already seen the paper, it just came out. If you haven't, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through. So the first one that I picked up was on the bright side. And I love that it says the bright side. So let me go ahead and just do... A flip through here I love all the colors like the colors that are just together on this paper I just love it and I love the feathers look at that one there is a project that I want to use the feathers on so um yeah oh my god look at that one that one's beautiful it's a very very um i love that one as you know i love pink this was a little different normally from paper that i will get and um i was gonna get the pink one but i was wasn't sure and so um, I just went ahead and picked this one up. It is a beautiful paper. And this is something that I don't have in my um, paper. So, And the next one I picked up was the Pumpkin Spice. Now, the Pumpkin Spice, they did um, bring one out from last year, which I do have. Um, which I think this could be a little different. Um, I'm not sure though. It could be different. But um, it reminds me of the one from last year. Because I do have that one. I know I've used a lot of it. So I will see how much I have left. But I wanted to get this one. And um, look at that. Oh my god. I love it. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one only because I have the one from um, last year. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because I know I will be using it for projects and stuff. See, this reminds me of the one from last year, especially the Owls. Not too crazy about that color, but it's okay. And then the fox. I love the fox. You can, like, cut that out and add an embellishment on a card and so on. Look at that one. That one's nice, too. So this is a really nice... I don't think... Did it come with a... Uh, or did I pass it? Oh, yeah. It came with um, these big old, uh, you can do like a book or something. But I was looking for the small journal cards. Oh, yes. Okay, I must have just passed it. Wasn't paying attention. But there you go. So I was going to check. 
the other one from last year to see um, what comes in that one. And then um, the last one that I got that I can say is my favorite. I just loving the colors. This one is my favorite one. And this is the Thankful Heart. And I think because the colors are more um, not so, um, how you say it, not so fallish, but fall at the same time. So let me go ahead and just do a flip through so you can see what I mean. Look at that. I love the mint and the brown that they mix with that. I even love that one. Look at these colors. I'm like really loving these colors. I mean, it's something different. If you're used to doing a certain fall colors, this is something that you can um, pick up and kind of change it around and um, when I saw this one I said yep I'm going to get it because it's different and it has colors that um, that you normally wouldn't see in fall paper look at that okay am I missing the journal cards or maybe I'm not paying attention because um, I think you maybe it didn't come with it. Oh, yes, I did. I must have not paid attention. There you go. So I guess what I was looking for, you know, the small, I think it's three by four. Yeah, three by four uh, journal cards you will get in it like the um, like this one that I was showing you on the pumpkin spice. It has the journal, oh my God, can't even talk. The journal cards, these ones are a little bigger. So uh, that's what I was, okay, well, here you go. You got these small ones. These are a little bigger though, but real cute. And I think, yeah. And I love how they did the flowers on that one. I don't know, I'm just really feeling uh, that one. And this one is a little, um, like, darker browns and stuff like that. And you can always mix the colors with um, this one. So you can mix the pumpkin spice with the thankful hearts. I mean, I think it would be a great combination. Um, so those are the ones that I picked up. So the next thing I picked up, I found this in one of the, um, I don't know why, but it was in the bin up in the front of uh, Michael's. Like when you're walking in, it says as is regular price was $6.49 and I got it for $2.60. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. I don't know if it's missing um, two of them on there or yeah, I think it is. Oh, yes. So it's missing like two of them. One on this side and one on this side. But you get one, two, three. And I guess I can check if they have the other ones. Like I can buy them separate. Let's see how these come off. Well, I'm not even going to try right now. So you open them like that. And then you can just add whatever you want. And let me close this one. There you go. And then um, I have, um, I don't have anything like this. So I thought for $260, it has um, these containers. It might not have all of them, but I thought for $260, you can't go wrong. And then up on top, you have... This part where you can fill stuff on top and then you have that right there where you can fill stuff in the bottom. 
So normally it will just go like this and then just close it up on top and then it has a little handle. So I thought that was a great buy for $260, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, the next thing, I was looking at the stamps, and, <laughs> you know, I have my little set of um, Halloween stamps that I use on um, layouts and projects for other people. Uh, I do a lot of... Um, Halloween pocket letters and stuff like that and I do enjoy doing that I'm more like more on the cutesy style and I love using stickers and stuff like that but I saw this one and I really like some of the images and I thought these were so different so I can't remember the name of um there's a digi um that uh, I had seen a long time ago that I have in my file, but I don't remember the name of it. It reminds me of this. So, like, you got the scary, well, I don't know, still kind of cute, scary at the same time. The unicorn. I love the cloud. Um, I'm not sure about these two here, but I thought this was not bad. This one's cute. And... This one, too, um, of course, I love using a lot of color more than dark color. So um, that's how I do mine. But um, I thought this wasn't, this is like one of them that I wanted to get. Well, actually, the only one. Unless they're going to come out with more, then maybe I will um, grab more. The only thing with this one, I think I would just cut off the... The spider. <laughs> I'm not too much a fan of spiders, but you know, I know people do like spiders, but you kind of go what you like, you know. So, this one I thought I was on the fence with this if I should get it, if I shouldn't, you know, but um, I went ahead and got it because I will use it for my projects. So, I picked up that. And then I picked up some sticker books that they had. And the first one I picked up was the Disney sticker book. And this is spooky and sweet. I thought that was so cute. So I did make uh, clips last year of Minnie. And look at how cute she is. Of course, right there, she looks a little mad. <laughs> Got that. This one's upside down for some reason. I don't know. Upside down, but I thought that was cute. And let me turn the page. Love the purple. So cute. And there's that one. I'm going to use a lot of the mini ones. And look at that one. I'm really loving this one. And, okay, I think that's it. I did pick up, did I pick up two of those? Yeah, I did. I picked up, oh no, is this the same? Oh, yes, it is. So I picked up two of those. I also picked up, um, I think it's the other way. The magic starts at midnight, and um, I am making a book, well, kind of like just creating, adding stuff, and all that, and I thought this was so cute, so I picked up this one, and look at that. These um, are a dollar at my Michael's. So these are some of the pages. I just think they're adorable. Okay, so that's it on that one. The next one is the Trolls. It's a sticker book, and I thought it was so cute. 
so cute. Oh my God. I don't know if they glow because it's kind of like that color when you add light to it and might glow. See, there it is again. And look at the cloud. <laughs> so funny. Look at that. And there's that one. See, I love to use stickers like these. Just make them colorful and okay. So that's um, that on the um, sticker books. So the next thing I picked up was Daiso. So I picked up um, the, this one. I was going to say these. This one, it, you'll love it. And it's like a little carry bag. I mean, carry pouch. Um, it had the paper, which I'll show you in this one, that you can use for your brushes or your makeup and so on. Because I did grab two of them. And um, so it had, this was closed like that. So you can pretty much open it like that. And then it's like that. It lays flat. Let me see if I can get that. It lays flat like that. So you can add whatever you want on there uh, for brushes or, you know, so on. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. But, of course, I couldn't resist the color. I was just like, oh, my God, I love the color. So I picked up two of those and then of course i i was looking to see if they had a bigger one in this one but they didn't this is um the most biggest size they have it says my heart throbs the most amazing feeling so i really love this one so um cute so i picked up that one and these were at uh daiso and then I also picked up this little spray here. I love these uh, spray bottles that Daiso sells. And then the last thing I picked up there um, is, this is new at my Daiso. I hadn't seen these. It's the A5 Craft Album. It's called the Scrap Album Book. And I thought it had 10 pages. I thought it was a great buy for $1.50. And it opens up like that. And then it has all these pages. It has like 10 of them. I can't even get it in the picture. So, and then it folds up like this, like a flip book. But of course, this flip book is going all the way straight that way <laughs> or you can glue them and then just kind of do um like a embellishment book or something so they only had one of these and one in black so i just went ahead and picked up this one so that's what I picked up from Daiso. And another thing that I also picked up from Daiso, which I will show you. Hold on a minute. Let's see. So I was looking for more of those. I only found one. So I was like, okay, I got to check my other Daiso. So I picked up that one. And um, I hanged it right there on the square um, kind of white one that's against my wall. I also got that at Daiso too. Those are $1.50 at my Daiso. Um, so I hanged that up. And then I found the um, hang carrier at Daiso. And I added that on there. But I do know you can make these at um, Dollar Tree. Um, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to grab it here. <laughs> so that's what I have there. And I'm hoping that I'll find more at Daiso so I can grab a couple more to add on there. 
um, to store my stuff there and just to uh, make it easy for me when I'm crafting. So that is my um, Michaels and Daiso haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. And so, yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, I really appreciate it. So, you guys, I have, I'm going to do my shout out, and that is um, Cheryl's Crafty World. So, um, I love her channel because it inspires me and encourages me, and I love her projects, and she makes beautiful charms. And she does a lot of variety things, you know, of different projects and stuff. So if you are not um, subscribed to her channel, go check it out. Um, I'm positive you will find something on her channel that will inspire you. So I will add her link um, on the description box. Just click it. And it will take you right to her channel. She goes by Cheryl's Crafty World. And her husband always says, dot com. <laughs> of course, I can't do it like he can. But, you know, Cheryl does a good job, too. So, hi, Cheryl. So, uh, that is my shout out today. Um, as I mentioned in my first video about this, that I will be doing shout outs um, to channels that I watch, that I enjoy. Um, it's just my, what I enjoy watching and what inspires me. And so I will be doing, you know, um, before they took out the, um, what do you call that? Um, the YouTube where you can go and look at your messages. I had like the list, which I can just go by that. But so I'm just going by um, what channels I like and um, what inspires me. So um, the one that I did the first time, these are channels that um, I enjoy and that I think that you would too. So um, that's why I'm doing Cheryl's Crafty World. And she is the one that I made the um, purple heart uh, no purple butterfly box for so you can go check out that video as well which I will add on the description box so you can go check out that one and so yeah so um I will be doing shout outs and I will be mentioning in my videos when I'll be having those out and so it's just my way of um you know, being supportive and um, sharing the YouTube love and um, just being supportive. So, okay, you guys, I think I chatted enough, but thank you very much. Um, have a great day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, you guys.